Okay, welcome glorious families. I welcome you all and I say God bless you for joining me again. This is going to be the continuation of a chapter we started yesterday, the Taronomy chapter 7. Like I said, take note of this. Anytime you read any of these Old Testaments in the Bible, which some people believe is so boring, it is actually, um, there's one thing I want us to always consider. Just remember that the birth, the, the birth and death of Christ has really done so much for us. And the book of Old Testament will be the only thing that will make you know how much and how important the, the death of Christ for the atonement of our sins is, okay? So whenever you come across all of those do's, don'ts, and uh, do, uh, those uh, be, uh, those bigger bigots or those that says... um key ram, key goats, all these things are just to remind us how important the birth of Christ, the death of Christ is that has cleansed our sins once and for all, okay? So let's read. We stopped at verse 23 and we are picking it up from verse 24. On the third day, Eliab, son of Elon, leader of the Zelu, Zebulu night presented an offering. His offering was one silver dish weighing three one quarter pounds and one silver basin weighing one three quarter pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel. Both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering. One gold bowl weighing four ounces full of incense. One young bull, one ram, one male lamb, a year old. <laughs> oh Lord, one male lamb, a year old, for a burnt offering. One male goat for a sin offering. And two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five lambs, a year old, for the fellowship of sacrifice. This fellowship sacrifice, have you, are, are you not like, I'm like, what is fellowship sacrifice? Does it mean to just gather like this and worship God? Is that, does that also require a sacrifice? Okay, let's read on. This was the offering of Eliab, son of Elon. Now, this whole place is talking about the offering of each person, which we have read a little part in the previous video. So I'm going to the offering of the other person. Okay, that one was Eliab, son of El Elo Elon. On the fourth day, Elisha, son of she Shidio, leader of the Rubenites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver dish weighing three one quarter pounds and one silver basin weighing one three quarter pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel. <laughs> both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering one gold bowl weighing four ounces full of incense one young bull one ram and one male lamb for one male lamb a year old for a bond offering one male goat for a sin offering and two bulls five rams five male goats and five male lambs a year old for the fellowship sacrifice this was the offering of a lyso son of shido <laughs> make it the second pair. okay i think that's about third person because we read about the other in the other video okay let's move on verse 36 on the fifth day shelumir son of zeru shaddai leader of the simio knights presented an offering his offering was one silver dish weighing three one quarter pounds and one silver basin weighing one three quarter pounds measured by the standard sanctuary shekel both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering <laughs> one gold bowl weighing four ounces full of incense one young bull one ram and one male lamb a year old for a bond offering one male goat for a sin offering and two bulls five rams five male goats and five male lambs a year old for the fellowship sacrifice. This was the offering of Shelumia, son of Zerushaddai. Hmm. Please, if you are following, don't you think these were the reasons Bible were boring for some people to read? Because this is more like repetition of what they had to offer for the sacrifice. And these sacrifices, I keep asking, these were the sacrifices they keep 
making for every little sin. Like, it was so well organized in those days, every damn thing you do. And funny enough, the fact that we don't make all these offerings anymore has made people to go weird. Like, a lot of people just do anyhow. A lot of people just behave anyhow. Okay? Now, let's move on. Verse 42 says, On the sixth day, on the sixth day, a liar sab, son of Deo, Deo, leader of the Gadites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver. They, if you look at all his offering, it's the same offering they are all offering. The same, the same measurement, the same, and everything was so, like, everything. You don't just bring anything. You have to bring the male or the female or the young one or the a year old. Oh, Jesus. Okay, on the sixth day, Elisha, son of Deo, leader of the Gadites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver dish weighing three one quarter pounds and one silver basin weighing one three quarter pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel. Both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering. One gold bowl weighing four ounces full of incense. One young bull, one ram. Where do I get bull from? Where do I get ram? One male lamb, <laughs> a year old. Oh, Lord. For a burnt offering. One male goat for sin offering. Sin offering. This same sin that I committed today like three or four times. Foul languages. The Bible said, in his, I, I forgot where it's written. He said that each of the... um. Every we will account for every careless words, like when you just say, Oh, are you you know crazy or something? All those things, careless words, we're going to account for each of them, and yet, all these things are what they have to make so much sacrifices for. I don't think I've ever seen any goats in America, I don't know about you. In America, ever since I got to the US, I hardly see goats, I've only seen goats once. I think in the TV during this vet program. Let's continue reading. Where will I have been able to get goat for all of these sins? Today I would have made different, five different or four different sacrifices with all of my languages, especially when I'm driving and some people just drive as if they own the road. Your head sparkles and you're like, how are you? <laughs> okay, verse 48 says, On the seventh day, Elishama, son of Amihud, leader of the Ephraimite, Presented an offering. His offering was one silver dish weighing three one quarter pounds and one silver basin weighing one three quarter pounds, measured by the standard sanctuary shekel. Both of them full of <laughs> fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering. One gold bowl weighing four ounces full of incense. One young bull, one ram, and one male lamb, a year old. What if I found a lamb of five year old <laughs> for a burnt offering? No, oh, one may goat for a sin. Of, you see, this sin offering that is taking goats. How many goats are we going to kill these days? And five male lambs a year old for the fellowship. This fellowship sacrifice, I feel like giving it a dirty slap. What is this fellowship sacrifice? Does it mean when you gather to worship God, you have to sacrifice something first? Jesus Christ. This was the offering of Elisha, my son of Amihud. Ah, we will start from verse 54 tomorrow. But that will be after I read tomorrow's, excuse me, chap chapter of the day. Anyway, all I want to make now is that I want to make, I have to take the, my watch off because this place is itchy. I've been wearing it since morning. Anyway, I want to remind us, anytime you come across anything in the Old Testament, please, it's an opportunity for you to say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for coming to die for me. Because if you hadn't, I would have to kill so many animals, bulls, ram, goats, you know, all of them, just for the atonement of my sins. So thank you, Jesus. And I think he's better off in those days because that makes them to be more disciplined. That is why we have so many great prophets. But these days, guess what? <sighs> we, it's, it's the other way around. Don't let me say much. I want to say thank you for joining me. If you find anything interesting, please do where to share in the comment section. Or you can private chat me. If you feel like correcting me, please correct me in love. No bullies. Don't bully me. If you bully me, I'm going to delete your comments because I don't like to be bullied. 
I'm sorry. I am not a pastor. I'm just, you know, I just enjoy reading and then sharing it online. And I hope you all do well to put something down. Thank you. Bye.